Hello and welcome to another version of Give Him 15. Thank you for joining me. I have a very strong post I want to share with you today and pray with you regarding the title of this uh, Give Him 15 is The Glory, The Healing, and The Salvation. I can only imagine how challenging it must be for our president to stand. Many are telling him to give up. Undoubted, undoubtedly, there are colleagues, friends, family members, staffers, Republican leaders, Christian advisors, and more telling him to take the high road, bow out gracefully. Just as Nehemiah faced the mockery and cajoling of Sanballat and Tobiah, President Trump is most likely facing his mockers and naysayers on a regular basis. I'm glad he's still standing. We must understand the spiritual, or we understand the spiritual battle going on for the nation. He may or may not. Regardless, we must war in the spiritual realm so he can remain standing in the natural realm. The pressure has to be immense. As he is standing at a crossroads daily, pray that he does not get to a point of desperation that could motivate him to make wrong decisions. The following dream from Clay Nash depicts just such a possible scenario in the Oval Office. He says, I dreamed a dream this morning, December 19, for the second morning in a row. I was in the Oval Office with Trump's leadership team and several other ministers. I felt challenged in being there. His team didn't like it. The room was tense. Dutch was standing, watching like an eagle perched to observe. Jim Hodges, Dutch's spiritual father, was there, as well as Timothy Carskaden, an apostolic and prophetic leader. In one wall was a vault-like safe. The president, on a few occasions, started toward the vault but someone would engage him in conversation and stop him, assuring POTUS they would open the vault door if it needed to be opened. Some eventually went to the vault door and turned the rope rotating dial, feigning an attempt to open it. General Michael Flynn entered the room, which created a stir among the Trump team. Some on the president's team gathered at the vault and, again, acted as though they were attempting to open the safe by spinning the combination dial. Their continued unwillingness to open it and inability, they did not have the combination, created greater tension in the Oval Office, General Flynn had a look of complete contempt on his face. Dutch, Jim, and Timothy were now together praying, but doing so in a manner that would not draw attention to themselves. President Trump started toward the vault again, and as before, some sought to stop him. He angrily shoved them aside and placed himself in front of the vault. Dutch, Jim and Timothy and General Flynn then positioned themselves between the president and the others in the room. At that point, a soldier from World War I came from the cloud of witnesses and positioned himself toward everyone in the room with his back to Dutch, Jim, Timothy, and General Flynn. I saw his medals and name. He was Sergeant Alvin C. York. President Trump then flipped down the rotating dial, 
revealing a digital keypad. He turned his head over his shoulder, looked Dutch in the eye, and punched in 22-22-12-12. The door opened, and a golden glory was released into the room. Some began to weep. Some ran to the far wall. And others of us began to cheer. Jim Hodges approached President Trump, laid both hands on his shoulders, and said, Well done, son. The, the president fell to his knees and wept. Melania entered the room and began prophesying over him, stating that the Republic could now be healed and America would now surely be saved. End of the dream. What an amazing, amazing dream. The interpretation? Obviously, the president and his team disagreed on opening the safe. He wanted it open. They did not. There is something President Trump wants to do or open that will restore the treasure of God's glory, the salvation of America, and the healing of the Republic. We spiritual leaders, General Flynn and the soldier from the cloud of witnesses, want the door opened and the contents revealed. The president's team did not want it opened. They wanted what was inside to remain locked up and hidden. The president needed protection while doing this, while opening it. Spiritual leaders, that would represent spiritual authority and prayer, and military leaders protected him while he did this. The correct method of opening the door was not what it appeared to be. Only the president knew the proper method, which was revealed at the last minute. The combination was 22-22-12-12, obvious in its meaning. Isaiah 22-22 gives us authority to open and close doors. Twelve is the biblical number of government. Double twelve would either be for emphasis or perhaps to picture both spiritual and civil government working together, which is what I believe it is signifying. Only God's delegated authority, working through both the ecclesia and civil government, can open or expose what must be opened and exposed and restore his glory, healing, and salvation to America. What does the soldier from the cloud of witnesses represent? Many dreams sent to me of late have someone from the cloud of witnesses in them. These individuals usually represent agreement with America's past generations, which I refer to in my book, An Appeal to Heaven, as the synergy of the ages. Agreement with past generations aligns us with God's original purposes, promises, and covenants, allowing him to multiply power to us, thus the synergy of the ages. Finally, tender pictures of President and Melania Trump are given to us. The President is seen as a son being affirmed by a spiritual father. This brings brokenness and humility, which will position him for true greatness. Melania is seen prophesying, one who knows God's voice Many people despise these two people, including some in the church, 
and are ready and willing to cast the first stone. They refused to believe the blood of Jesus could possibly cleanse and forgive them of their past, then hurry off to church where they sing the song written by a former slave trader, Amazing Grace, Amazing Hypocrisy. I believe this dream is saying they are hungry for God, tender to his heart, and love America deeply. I also believe our president is ready for a major God encounter, one that will transform him incredibly, preparing him for the greatest season of fruitfulness in his life. Let's believe for this. And don't tell me, do not tell me that God cannot work a miracle and give President Trump the election most Americans know he won. I say, expose the evil, Lord, all of it, every one of them. Be ruthless. Let the Jehu spirit come on those who need to be part of the operation. Throw down Jezebel. Cut off the evil root in our government along with all of its shoots. Uproot it in Congress, our courts, executive branch, agencies, departments. Get it all, Lord. I command exposure in Jesus' name. Give us breakthrough, Lord. Heal our republic and save America. As you think about prayer today, ask Holy Spirit to give you his heart for President Trump. Ask him to cause our president to listen only to right counsel. Ask God to keep those who would give him wrong advice away from the president. Pray against discouragement in both he and Melania. Pray that he knows how to expose or open, when to do so, how to work the lock, and that he has the right combination of spiritual and natural authority backing him. Pray for a mighty visitation of Holy Spirit to President Trump and Melania that he is completely transformed and that she prophesies. And here's a prayer I want us to pray together. Father, we thank you for sustaining President Trump. We thank you for keeping him from conceding and thereby turning our nation over to those who don't like you, your ways, or your word. They fight to kill babies, lie to get elected, and hate the nation you created. They desperately want to change it. We pray for them. Save those you can. Deliver them from their deception and reveal yourself to them. Remove those who need to be removed. Expose those who need to be exposed. Deliver us from le leaders who don't want you to rule this land. We ask for Psalm 2 to be fulfilled. Redeem those you can. Break the influence and authority of the others. Expose lying media. And we pray for President Trump and Melania. Encourage them, Lord. Lead our president. Give him great wisdom and wise counsel. And give him Jehu's. Give him men and women around him with warrior hearts and patriot hearts. And visit him, Lord. Reveal yourself to him 
in a profound way. Show him what it means to be a faithful son walking with his faithful father. Teach him your ways and open the ears of Melania to hear you. May she prophesy and use them, Lord, in such a way that allows you to heal and save America. In Jesus' name, amen. And our decree today is simply, the vault will be opened. The glory of the Lord will come. The Republic will be healed and America shall be saved. Amen. And thank you for joining me today.